Hello, and welcome to World of Warbirds. I'm Brian Pierce. Hello, Warbirders. Although the Sopwith Camel was a well-established fighter aircraft during World War I, mid-war, in 1916, there was found to be a need for a version that could be operated by the newly established K-9 squadrons of the Royal Flying Corps. These squadrons had been set up to aid in supplying dog pilots to the badly overstretched Flying Corps that had been locked in a nasty battle of attrition with the enemy over the trenches of the Western Front. Initially ridiculed by the literally entrenched military establishment, the dog pilots were found to be highly aggressive, loyal, and actually possessing superior hunting skills at sniffing out the enemy than their human counterparts. Their eating habits and hygiene were actually found to be far superior to their human fighter pilot equivalents, although their tendency to hump any human present was found to be quite similar. One problem that needed to be solved was that the dog pilots of these experimental canine squadrons were unable to reach and manipulate the controls of the standard Sopwith Camel. Thus, the Sopwith Aviation Company began work on a model much better suited to a pod pilot. Fittingly, they started with their Sopwith Pup model and modified it by removing the wings and other control surfaces and employing the revolutionary doghouse effect, which generates lift via a high-speed air sweeping over the dorsal surface of the house. Power was supplied by a growling, embedded, 9-cylinder Barclay rotary engine, and the resulting machine was armed with twin, synchronized Vickers machine guns, which barked out significant firepower. The first prototypes had a tendency to swing on takeoff, usually towards nearby fire hydrants, and this was eventually solved by the use of an automatic treat dispenser with a 30-treat drum magazine to keep the puppy pilots on a short leash. The canine units, using their doghouse camels, were highly successful, often painting their machines red in order to intimidate their opponents to running away with their tail between their legs rather than actually dogfighting, which is incidentally the origin of the word. One famous ace, Snoopy, actually shot down the dreaded Red Baron on April 21st, 1918. Although he was never officially credited with the kill due to prejudice and discrimination at the time, and it was a Canadian captain, Roy Brown, piloting a standard Sopwith Camel who was tossed a bone in getting the victory instead. The German Air Force eventually began employing flying squirrel units that the canine units found very distracting, and this problem was never wholly brought to heel. There was a bomber version that used larger sized breeds to drop heavy loads over enemy territory and these were known to make quite the mess. Lastly, there was a nighttime psychological warfare version that would bark and howl, especially on moonlit nights in order to disturb the sleep of the enemy. Following the war, the K-9 units were disbanded and the aircraft with their weapons and engines removed were sold off as surplus for domestic use where they even today remain the pattern for doghouses everywhere. Happy April Fool's Day, everyone. <laughs>